December 2nd. December 2nd. December 2nd. December 2nd. December 2nd, we went up to the Pro Football Hall of Fame and uh, got a chance to play for a state title. I woke up super early just because I couldn't stay asleep. I had butterflies the entire day. Just waking up in the morning and knowing that we had a big game coming. When we got on the bus, it just felt surreal. I was in disbelief. Everyone was there. It was like another boost of confidence to see all those people lying in the streets wanting to see us do well. It was like we had a lot of people behind us. Driving on 77 and we see the lights. I mean, as soon as we saw it, we were all kind of like, wow, we're really here. Just looking up and just seeing the big stands without anyone in it. Just looking in the lights and saying, wow, I'm really here. I didn't know how big the stage was going to be. You don't really know how to prepare, but you know that you have to. I haven't talked to anybody that knows what this feeling's like. Everybody's doing their own thing to get ready. We stepped out there and at first everyone just had to pause and just look around and kind of take it all in. You leave everything you have on this field tonight. Out of all the teams I've ever played, I think they're probably the best. Do we prep for the massive hulking guys up front or do we prep for the speedy back? Go out and play tonight, one final time. Hey, all those things that we've talked about all year long, all those things that have made us great, all those things that have made you different from other teams around the state, from other teams that, that we've had, all those things that have made you special over the course of the last 15 weeks. Hey, all the things that got you to this moment, you guys deserve this moment. I honestly couldn't contain my excitement. Tri Valley, and it's like, whoa. And that just immediately got you, that just took you to a whole new level. It just really felt like a dream. Nobody was more elusive or fast than Ravion on Hard Road. Those guys, straight athletes. Calm down, play, we got it. This isn't just a game. This is like, this is gonna be a battle. This is gonna be, like, we have to play the best we've ever played against the best team we've ever played against. Everybody just seems like they're ready to go. They called my number for the run play. Come on, Andrew! Everything just kind of worked out in the place, waiting for everything just to hit, and then all of a sudden it was open. And I just hear the roar as I'm going. I see him about at the 30-yard line taking off. I'm like, oh my gosh, I take off running with him. I'm running and I'm looking at myself in the jumbo trial. This program, this football team, like we got ourselves here, nobody helped us against all odds. We weren't stronger than them, we weren't faster than them. We had to out-scheme them. I mean, an offense that explosive, with that much talent, they're going to have big plays and they're going to they're going to score touchdowns. I just was thinking in my head, like, you cannot drop this.
Oh, all the pools doubted us. I mean, they all said we didn't really have a chance and we proved ourselves every week. So, I mean, it was just another way to prove ourselves. I mean, we knew that it would, it would take a stretch to beat them. But at the same time, we knew this is one game. We don't have to play a series. We just have to go out and make something happen. Huge play right here. Okay, huge play right here. blocked that kick. I think that gave us a little more momentum. We're in great spot. Hey, it's 14-13. It's a one-point game with 24 minutes to play in a state championship. And we got the ball. They do the little things that got us here right now. At that point, we're in the locker room saying, like, this is it. Like, we can win a state championship in the next 24 minutes. So let's find a way to go get it done again. we, we got to go prove people wrong. We got to do what we do, and we got to go win this game. It was definitely good to come out and immediately get on the scoreboard. I probably shouldn't have thrown that ball, but I knew that we had to, something had to happen. That was easily one of Dow's biggest plays, and we were all, all excited for him. You know, right when we finally went up 19-14, we're like, wow, this is honestly, we, we, we got a chance here. After a quarter when we were up, everyone was like, damn, these boys can play. If we get one more score, whether it's a field goal or a touchdown, if we get one more, this team's going to start to fall apart. the momentum but with that explosive of an offense it's it's hard to keep the momentum shifted to one side. The whole game, I don't think any of us felt like we couldn't win. We beat St. V. We beat Bishop Hartley. We beat Bell Fountain. We were underdogs the whole way. Why have it any different now? This is what it's all for. That community behind us, the coaches behind us. It was definitely something special. Um, we, we just looked at each other in the huddle and said, let's go, it's time to, time, time to win this. Had all the confidence in the world in each other. We knew, knew some and the O-line receivers, everybody was gonna execute it. So I dropped back and I threw it to him and we needed something. I knew he was gonna catch it. I thought that our offense could do it. We marched all the way down the field. They knew that they could trust Newsom throwing me the ball and that Newsom would trust me catching the ball. We're driving down the field, we're marching down the field better than we had all game. We drove the ball straight down the field, we called timeout. Going into that play, I had it in my head, we're going to win. I knew, I knew it was going to happen. You want to just enjoy it, but it's, it's a, I mean, that was the biggest moment of my life to this day. An interception, uh, game's over. I felt like I just threw it all away. 
like my mind went blank. I remember Nate, right after it happened, I'm just walking over the sidelines, I felt terrible. And I remember Nate just came over and gave me a big hug. I've known that kid for a long time, and I knew that he was going to tear himself up over that. So the first thing I did, gave him a hug and told him that it's, there's nothing to hang our heads about at all. The bigger the game, the tougher it is when you lose, man. Hey, it's high stakes, high rewards, but it's also big disappointment when you lose. Hey, I get it. I know. Hey, but I want you to remember the things that we've accomplished this year, as tough as this is to take. Hey, if we just said at the beginning of the year, we give ourselves an opportunity to win a state championship in the second half of the final game of the year, hey, each and every one of us would have taken that opportunity. We obviously played as hard as we could in that game, but I think all of us in the back of our head, we wanted to see Dresden when we came through a state champions. We wanted that one last time, and we wanted to give it to Dresden, especially all the people there, we wanted to give it to them. Don't let this feeling right now define you. Hey, don't let it. What you've done this year is special. What you've been able to accomplish is special. What you've done for our program, for this group, for our community, is unmatched from any other group in, in Tri-Valley football history. It sunk in that I wouldn't be playing with any of these guys again. I kind of was walking off and realized, I mean, this is the last high school game I'm ever going to play in. It really hit hard. And then that night, it hit even harder. Realizing, like, this is, like, you're not going to have this anymore. Like, this is it. I think we still showed a lot of people that we were one of the best teams in the state. And, I mean, it's a dream come true just for the opportunity.